Good morning. Aren't we keen? Dead on 11 o'clock. I'm impressed. That's not bad for a Sunday morning. Well, welcome. You're here with me, Colin Robinson, as you can see down there, on Crafters TV this morning. So I hope everybody is well. I hope you're having a lovely Sunday morning. And today is our starter skills show all about the Gemini machine. There you go. Look at all of these. I mean, not one, but four Geminis. And we're going to look at them all this morning and, and look at the pros for each one, which one you might like, when you might want to use them. But more importantly, I need you to be there with me. I'm on my own today, so I need you to join me. I want your comments. Which machine have you got? But more importantly, which machine are you coveting? Which one would you like to... It's, it's on your wish list. It's not long till Christmas, not long till Santa comes. Which one is at the top of your list and you're hoping there's going to be under the Christmas tree for you this year? Now, if you want to get in touch, all the details are down there again. Ah, oh, Georgie's on it today. He's changing the straps. There we go. We've got the social details, whether you're on um, Facebook, uh, YouTube, or you want to email it in, it's entirely up to you. We'd love to hear from you from you now I am already not here on my own in my ear I've got Jamie and I've got George they're both here I've actually got Sam as well but that's just a special treat for today so yes there we go so hi Sam and welcome we, we really appreciate you being here now on socials we've got our lovely Rachel this morning she's already sending me over the comments and I've got Eleanor with me from Shrub Oak in New York oh, that sounds nice that sounds like we live on a tree estate we do we're, they're all trees around by us that sounds nice and we've also got Lorna Fernandez um, with us as well oh and there's more we've got Rhiannon she's the, here from um, Ballarat in Australia she says hope you're all having a fantastic weekend we are, we are. We had lots of fireworks last night here in the UK. We've got Suzanne Dawn here um, saying happy Sunday crafty friends. Tim C, good morning from a beautiful Nottinghamshire. Hope everyone is well. I love the new shows. It reminds me of going back to basics and just tweaking what you're doing. Well, I hope you really enjoy it, Tim. Thank you. Rosalind Russell from Maryland. Ooh, uh, ooh, I don't know. Sorry, there's someone from Miami, Florida. Ex oh, I'm sorry, I really don't know how to say that. Ex psych. Excite. Oh, I'm sorry. That's really somebody might have to tell me um, where that one. E X P S Y C H. Oh, I should have. I really don't know what that one is. I'm sorry. That's really rude of me. Um, and we've also got Anita from Hayward in XP. Someone said it. Um, Anita from Hayward in um, California. Oh. Tim says he's recently gone from the junior to the original, but also have the MIDI, which is brilliant for sentiments of smaller dies. And he has the foil press machine. Well, I think you've got the whole family. So let's talk about what the Gemini is. So the Gemini is, let's not call it a die cutting machine. It's a die and embossing machine. It's called a Gemini for the reason. Gemini, we all know Gemini as the twin star sign. Gemini mean duo and that's because our machine they've all been built with two um, functions in mind cutting and embossing now what you cut and what you emboss is entirely up to you there is so much you can do so let me show you I've got a lovely board here to show you what you can be cutting and embossing let's have a look so um, we've got canvas we've got cards like you, you be disappointed if we didn't have cardstock in there we've got chalkboard we've got chipboard cork denim fabric felt foam so that's thick foam that's not just your your thin sort of flower forming foam that's your thicker foam we've got glitter fabric glitter paper vinyl jute leather mirror card plastic suede paper oh that one's nice we've got vellum we've got wood and as it says down here the gemini embosses too now we're going to go through each of our machines in turn and we're going to have a look at them. Now, where we're going to start is we're going to start with our mini machine. Now, you might look at that and you think, mm, is, it, is it as good as the others? Yes, it is. And I'm going to show you how to use it. I think people underestimate the mini. I'm being truthful here. 
I find that I use my mini so much. My mini sits on top of my original on um, my craft desk because it's got the suckers and that's where it stays so I can reach for it when I want. Why put, why use your electricity and also why wait for the plates to go through when you can do something quick and um, quick and simple with, with the mini. So let's go and have a look at what the mini can do. And uh, we can, uh, and while we're doing that, we shall look at who else has got it. Um, so there we are. So we've got Lynn here from the Isle of Wight. She says, I have four Geminis, but not the pro yet. <gasps> Mm, I saw some amazing deals on our birthday with the pro, so I hope you're looking and seeing there. So we've got Lorna says, I've got the OG, the junior, the mini, the foil press, but I'm covering the other two. Greedy, really. Not at all. Rhiannon, thank you for everyone at CTV who works on the weekends and spends their time with us instead of their family. I like the new shows going back to the beginning. Well, thank you, Rhiannon. We're trying to listen to what everybody wants. Oh, and Suzanne says she's got the OG, we call that the original Gemini, and the Mini. Obviously, I'm slacking. Not at all. Oh, our lovely Rachel has the Mini, the Junior, and the A4. So many machines. Right, I'm going to put that out of the way for a minute. Okay, let's have a look at your, gym, uh, your Mini Gemini. This is an amazing machine. As I say, it has the suckers on the bottom. These are really quite strong. So if I put this down, look at that. I can pick up my glass mat with these. So you know that once it's anchored down, it's not going anywhere. It's a right-handed machine. It's a left-handed machine, whichever you want. But don't think because it's small, sorry, I'm right-handed, turn it around. Just because it's small, it's not as mighty. Now, when you get your machine, you're going to get your um, uh, folders, your plastic folders, so that's your cutting plates, and you're also going to get your plastic shim. That's so that you can do your embossing. So just because it's a small machine, we're not losing any of our functionality. We're still going to be able to do it all. Now let's start with a nice, simple um, show. So I've got one of our mini sentiments. Now you have a three inch folder with your Gemini machine. Now this means that you've got four cutting plates on here because I can cut onto there, fold it down. I can turn it over, I can cut onto there. I can then turn it round and I've now got two new sides to cut onto. So there is, these folders will last so, so long. I can put my sentiment on, I close my folder down, I take my folder up to my machine, through I go, just turning it round. Now that's did you hear that click? It's gone through. I can come back if I want, or I can carry on. It depends on how much space you've got. And then, hey, Presto, look at that. Look at how crisp and clean that's cut out. I've cut myself a little piece so that you could see. Look at that. That is, you've not compromised your power at all. There we go. So that is cutting really, really easy. Now, the next one I want to show you is our craft foam. So this is our flower forming foam. Now you can go through so many layers of this. I've just got a strip, I'm folding it into um, thirds just so that it fits. And I've not got a flower die, I've just got a regular die. I wanted to show you some of our regular dies. Pop that through there. And again, I can then through my machine. I just put my hand on the top to steady it, but actually look at that, you can, because it sucks so well, you can. I just find it easy. Yeah, that's my personal choice. Open that out, and there, that's cut through my foam. Now, because it's foam, it's just stuck those together. But each one of those has cut, oh, there we go, perfectly without any fraying whatsoever. Now, I want to take it up or not. I'm going to really challenge this. I have got some craft metal. Just, we had, we had a, a little drink the other night. Right, so I'm going to get a die. Now, this is a heart die. I've got faux stitching on here, so I'm really starting to challenge this. And I've got my craft metal. I'm going to put it in my folder. You can see I've not changed my folder system. I've not had to change my plates or anything like that. So this is the joy of the mini machine. I'm not having to think about what plates I need. I'm not having to think about, do I add one in? Do I take one out? No, it's all, it's all done within the folder system. And look at that. Not only has that cut without any sharp 
sharp edges it's also cut all that faux stitching into there now I could color that with my alcohol pens I could do anything so this is going to take me into mixed media and it's also also going to take me into sort of home decor making ornaments for the garden and everything like that now I wanted to show you embossing so I have got uh, some embossing folders here these are just some um, uh, panel embossing folders and we'll get two of these in the machine in our pack now these are 3d embossing folders but you might think well I can't put a 3d embossing folder through my mini because 3d embossing folders weren't in existence when the mini first came out so it wasn't built to do it all our machines are future proof now if I was doing this with a 2d embossing folder I would put my shim on top but this is a 3D embossing folder, so it gets even simpler. Offer it up to the machine and through. Look at that, no plates, no nothing. My embossing folder is an embossing folder and it's all my plates in one. So everything is perfect. Now look at that. Oh, it's dark, so it's hard to see, but you can see. Oh, let me do there. Oh, I'll show you. I grab some waxes this will really make it pop let me just put this on here and look look there you go there we are look at that how quick was that to bring to life now look at that emboss isn't that perfect beautiful beautiful so you can see there are so many things I can do with my Gemini mini from die cutting using mixed media materials and doing embossing and all of those are really simple to do but once you've done that you might think to yourself what am i going to do now i've only just got a couple of samples here but to show you once you um have cut things through on your mini you can then decorate your um, projects decorate your home decor so i've got my foam on here and you might think all oh, those small sentiments i'm never going to use them yes you are they can be they are perfect to add on to all of your other projects how perfect is that so this is just the machine to have it's going to become your go-to machine that you just have on your desk all the time so i hope you like that so that was my quick overview of the um, mini and i can see let me have a look and see who else has joined us today oh there we go right so i think we should go and get ready to look at the midi whilst i um, read who else is with us so we also have we have kathleen here who's got them all we've got eleanor murphy who says i only have the mini and the midi but they serve my needs for now i'm sure they do eleanor they there's nothing you can't do with those two Di hedges says i've got the midi it should be re renamed the mini but mighty machine you're right i mean I'd hopefully that was very quick but hopefully i've shown you that deborah reeves on youtube says i have the mini midi the original the foil press and the pro machine i bought during birthday few i think i'm done hopefully sandy kessler says i've completed my gemini family during birthday i added the mini still in en route the pro arrived last week well wow, there's so many there mandy also uses her mini for flower cutting and loves her mini and her Junior and now to make room for the pro purchase during birthday celebrations wow Tess is saying good morning from Wisconsin there's so many of you here I'm so pleased I'm looking forward to the show I have the original but I'm still learning oh Betty says ha love how many demos we are having today as I only recently got the uh, um, original and have a midi on its way well hopefully Betty I will show you all the time there we go perfect right so we've already seen that we can use a lot of these fabrics through our mini but can we do the same with our midi so I think it's time to have a look at what the midi can do so the midi has a slightly larger plate um, um, size so but it still works in the same way so here is my plastic shim for my um, midi it is nine by six inches so you know you've got a lot more space but again we're still using that simple plastic folder system but still able to um, to do so many things with it and you're also going to get your shim so let's go and have a quick look at 
the midi so i'm going to walk back over there and have a look at that Oh, right now, hopefully, I'm so glad Caitlin's here. Caitlin Vaughan is saying she got the OG original uh, recently. That's the um, original. But she's feeling a little bit overwhelmed. We don't want that. We really don't want that, Caitlin. So hopefully this show is going to really help you to feel less overwhelmed by your machine and uh, show you what you can do with it. Right, now I'm over here. Look at this, it's magic. I've got magic fairies working behind, this, behind the, the scene um, and they've set it up. So what they've done for me is they've set up the Gemini MIDI for me. So should we have a look at what you can do with that? So here we go with the MIDI machine. As, we, as I said, you've got your simple folder system. So here's my folder system. As I said, it's nine by six inches and I'm also gonna get my shim in the box with that as well. Again, the MIDI is a manual machine and we've always said small but mighty. What was the, what's it Ben says? He says, simplicity without electricity and i think that sums this up perfectly left-handed right-handed whichever you want it to be i am right-handed so we're going to start with it on that way around so let's start oh i think we should start back where we were before and we'll start with some craft metal just to show you on here now i'm going to do oh what have i got i've got a nice flower die here so let's have a go at that i've got my nice new folder so there we go. Remember, you've got four sides to your fold, cutting sides to your folder. So, you know, that's going to last so long. Oh, let me just press that down. There we go. It was just moving. So we can wind that through really easy. You're not having to think about what plates I need, what plates I don't need, but they're all going to go through there. And again, if you're short of space, you can go forwards and backwards as well. There we go. Look at that. And I've even got that. Look at that. I've got that beveled edge. So my die cut is nice and and safe to use. I'm not worried about sharp edges at all. Then we've got, let's have a look where we're going to go next. I have got some ooh, intricate dies here. I have got my lace, um, lace edge star die. Now this is a really detailed die. So I am really challenging my machine to this. Look at all the detail on there. There, you really are um, pushing that. So we're going to put that onto some cardstock. Just put that, it doesn't matter where in the folder you put it. I'm going to put, now this is a detailed die. So I'm going to go forwards with my die cut. And when I hear a click, oh, it didn't, it didn't feel that too much. It's gone through. I'm going to bring it back because it's no hassle to do that. And when I bring that back and then I open it out, look at that now. The great thing is, if something cuts really, really well, it looks like a little pencil line behind there. And can you see, every single one of those has cut. There are no misses on there at all. I definitely need my pokey tool for this. So pop that out, pop that through there, and look at, there we go, pop that. Now, you can tell how well this is cut because it's embedded this quite deeply into my die. Ah, there we go every one of those i just need to poke a couple of them out but as you can see every single one oh there we go get that one out from there every one has cut perfectly absolutely no misses whatsoever so then you can use those and then you can be putting them onto your projects and then let's have a look at what you can do with this you can pop them onto there look at that look at the detail just because it is our midi machine we're still getting the same perfect results now the other thing i wanted to show you is i wanted to show you a cut and emboss folder again when the midi came out we didn't have things like cut and emboss folders but we do now so this is an embossing folder with a blade in it as well so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to get a piece of cardstock i'm going to pop it into my folder i'm going to oops, bend it over so oh i'm going to just drag drop that down just a little bit to here pop it on here there we are so just remember you can put through your um Oh, where's my shim gone? I've, oh, I dropped it on the floor. You can put through your regular embossing folders, you can put through your cutting emboss folders, and you can put your 3D embossing folders. I'm going to put my shim on here, and then I'm going to take that through. 
I should have done it the other way around so you could see the embossing folder was behind. There we go. All the way through, catch it when it gets to the other side, and there you go, look, it's just there. Now, if we open this out, can you see this has not only cut, but it has embossed as well. Let's peel that out. Oh, I did that a bit shy. There we go. Look at all. Can you see that beautiful embossed it? Look at that. And this is on pearlescent card, but look at that. It's cut them and embossed them in one easy go. So everything I showed you for the MIDI is now going to go through, the MINI is going to go through the MIDI and vice versa. But how perfect is that? So that is your MIDI. As you can see, we've not compromised at all. Um, simplicity without the electricity, as they say, but we're still cutting cardstock, multimedia, and we're, uh, you know, and we're doing our um, mixed media and everything. But that is what you can do with your MIDI. So let's have a quick look. I have, where's my sample? There we go. I lost those for a minute. There we go. Now, let's see what you can be doing with this, with your MIDI. So let's put that to one side. So this is what you could be doing with your Gemini MIDI. I wanted to show you that gorgeous cut and emboss folder. Once you start adding your inks to it, doesn't that look amazing? How fantastic would it be to be creating projects like this? Doesn't that look amazing? Look at the butterflies on there, just by adding the gilding waxes. With those um, detailed um, um, dies, you could be making boxes like this. Scoreboard to make your box, and then you've got your gorgeous, gorgeous, um, your gorgeous, gorgeous dies on there are really adding so much detail. Look at that. Isn't that perfect? Now, that all of these have been cr being created because I had my MIDI. Perfect. Absolutely gorgeous. Right, now, Gem just because it is a manual machine, don't think it's less powerful than our electric machines. You've seen, hopefully, how much you can do with this, with these. So we're going to go now and have a look at our original machine and uh, have a look at some of your comments. And we're actually going to um, really work with this and see what you get when you get your original machine home from us and what comes in the box, just to show you the value for money as well. OK, so let's see who else is on here. Oh, we also have Diane. Listen to this. Wow, Diane. She says, hiya, Corinne and crew. I have the pro, two originals, MIDI, MINI and the Go. And I must say, I love them all. Wow, Diane. Very jealous. Um, Pandacraft says, I have the original and I like to use the junior plates when I remember. We're going to be talking about that as well. Perfect. And uh, so we also have Melanie. I have the mini and midi and love them both. And Suzanne says, Corinne, could we put fabric through with the multimedia dies? I'm not sure which machine you're talking about there, Suzanne, but absolutely, we're going to be using multimedia dies and we're going to be using fabric, especially looking at this one. So again, we're just going to go back to all of the things that we can be putting through our machine, especially as Suzanne just asked the questions. So we can say, you know, all of these are going through there. Now, look at this. You've got your vinyls, you've got your plastics, you've got your, um, your leathers, you've got your suede, you've got them all. Canvas, absolutely no problem for our Gemini machines. As we were saying earlier, your Gemini machine is a twofold machine. It's a die cutting machine and it's an embossing machine. So if, I, if you were to order your original Gemini, let me turn it around so you've got a pretty picture. This is what you would get when it arrived. Look at this. This is your lovely box of Gemini goodness. Wow. Should we have a look at what's inside? I think we should have a look at what's in our Gemini box. What do we get with our Gemini? Now, as we've already talked about it, Gemini means sort of duo. It's that star sign, that twin star sign, isn't it? So it's everything, you know, everything you would expect for um, multi, multifunctional. I'm going to look at those in a minute. Now, let's get to the most important bit in here is our machine. And oh, there we go. 
this is where I could do with a magic hand. Look at that oh, beautiful machine in there. So I'm just going to get that. Ooh, try and do this artistically, not that easy. Let's ooh, pop that down there. There we go. Very well packaged because you want it to arrive in pristine condition and that is what is going to happen. So you get your machine. Now, I'm not going to lie to you and say, oh yes, oops, there you go. This is the lightest machine you'll ever get and you're going to be able to throw it around. No, it's a substantial machine because what's inside is the amazing mechanism that gives you that power. I can promise you that this is the best machine I have used. I've been crafting for over 20 years and I've never had a die cutting machine that gives me such reliability as the Gemini does. Now, the Gemini machine, as you can see in here, it's really, really simple. This is my machine. I've got a lovely large mouth on here, but I've got the most simple controls. So on the back, oh, have I missed out my power pack? Oh, right. You will get your power cable in the box as well. And then once you pop that in, that just goes in the back just there. Then you've got your on off button just here. So that's, that's keep it nice and safe. Once we switch it on, we then press the power button onto here. And I'm going to take you over to where I've got one set up in a minute. And then we, you don't even need to press start because the machine will start with the plate. But if you want to pause and continue or if you want to reverse, that is perfect. Now the reverse is brilliant if you're crafting and you've just got a small bit that you want to, um, to cut or you're crafting in a small space, you'll be using those. But I think the key thing is to see is how much are you going to be able to get through your machine. Now, these are going to come in the box with it. You don't have to order separate plates because they're going to come with you. And you can see on here, they're nine by 12 and a half inches. And obviously you're going to get two of those because you need two plates. So those are your cutting plates. You're also going to get your magnetic shim. You've got it there. And you're also going to get your plastic shim. And that is a combination to do most of your die cutting. And in that box, you will also get a metal shim and a rubber embossing mat as well. So you have got absolutely everything that you need. Now, what you'll also get is you'll get your manual. So your manual will tell you, and in here, as well as your guarantee, it's going to tell you what plate combinations you need. Now, I'm going to give you a quick top tip when we get back over and show you how I remember how to, to remember all my plate combinations. Now, if this is your first die cutting machine, we're also going to give you an intricate die. We're going to give you some little mini dies so you can do embellishments. We're going to give you a multimedia die because we've been asked about this. So this is going to let you go through some of your thicker fabrics or materials. And then you're also going to get an edger or border die. So this is everything you're going to get in your Gemini box to get you started on day one. Absolutely perfect. Now, it really is the best machine I have ever had. We can cut, we can emboss, you can do everything that you want to do it. I think we should pop back over and uh, have a go at um, putting it through its paces and see who else has, um, uh, who else has been in touch. So we said, we've got Designed by Fazia says, Hi, Corinne, just gave... I think they said, my mini to my niece for her birthday. Can't describe the excitement on her face. I think she might have said a mini. And, uh, yeah, absolutely perfect. So we have now got our um, original. A lot of people call it the OG. So if you ever see it referenced as the OG, then you know that is what, it, what they're meaning. So... This is what the, the Gemini, well, let's just call it the Gemini. So this is what the Gemini and what you can do with it. So I'm going to bring it a little bit closer just to make it easier. As I mentioned, you're going to get your power cable. You've got your on off switch and then you've got your power and your, your power, your pause, your um, uh, start and your reverse on there. So just make sure the lights are lit up and then away you go. Right now. I'm going to have a go at a few different bits on here. So let's just cut some. Where are we going to start? Let's just cut some sentiment dies on here. So we should start it. 
So let's see what you can do with it. So I've got my plate, absolutely perfect. And then I can um, put my sentiment, uh, build up my plate combination to do some cutting. So I've got my original plate here. Then I've got a couple of layers of cardstock here and I've got a sentiment die. So I'm gonna pop that on. Next, I need to put on my magnetic shim. Then I don't need my ma um, metal plate for this. I'm going to put my plastic shim on and I'm going to put my other cutting plate on as well. And then I'm going to offer that through my machine. So we take that through. Now, I've only put one thing through here, but if you wanted to, you could be putting so much more through your machine if that's what you want at, at one time. Because you've got that whole plate size, that would say nine by 12 and a half inches. You've got all of that there. Look at that, two layers, absolutely no problem whatsoever. You can be putting that through. Look at this. I've cut that sentiment without any problems. There we go. Let me just separate the two together. There we are. Look at that. Double birthday straight away. One pass of my die cutting machine. Absolutely brilliant. Now, what you also you can do is something that we've not really talked about yet with this, is you can be using your Gemini Junior plates in your machine. So I've got some of my Gemini Junior plates, same combination, two cutting um, plates. I've also got my plastic shim and my magnetic shim. Now you're also gonna get your magnetic, uh, your metal shim and your, plus, uh, your rubber embossing, fold, um, embossing sheet as well. So let's have a look, if I wanted to use those, what I could be doing. So I'm gonna take my, um, uh, my cutting plate, I'm then gonna pop my rubber shim on, or my embossing shim, whichever you want to call it. I'm gonna put a piece of cardstock on. This is um, and a six by six uh, stencil. And you say, but why do you need a uh, die cutting machine for a stencil? What I'm going to do then is I'm going to drop out my magnetic shim because you, there aren't any occasions that you need your magnetic shim and your embossing mat. If you do that, your plate combination will be too big. And I'm gonna offer it up. Now, remember when I had the big plates, I went that way. Because I'm using my junior, I'm gonna offer them up to the width. Because what I want to do is I want to trigger the sensors inside this machine. And that's gonna trigger the sensors and away it goes. Now, why would I want to, do, to use some smaller plates? Because that's gone through even quicker. Now, what we've done here, and can you see? Look at that. Oh, let me see if I can get it there. There you go. Look at that. We have got, you can see it better on that side, the perfect emboss. Hopefully you can pick, there you go, you can pick that up. I keep pressing out. So I've now used my stencils to do embossing with as well. So absolutely brilliant. We've had a lot of questions about using multimedia dies. So what I wanted to show you is how multimedia dies go through your die cutting machine as well. So I've got one here. And all I've done is I've taken a piece of mount board and I've popped a photograph on the top. Lovely photograph and I'm taking one of my multimedia dies and I'm going to lay that over the top of the photographs. So let me put a piece of tape on because I don't want it to move. So there we go. So we can pop that on to there. Now this is a slightly thicker die. So I'm going to take out my magnetic shim and I'm just going to go in with my plastic shim and my other clear plate. And we're gonna offer that up to the machine and we're gonna let that go. So just remember, you can play around with your plate combinations very, very easily. So we take that out and away you go. We can open that now. Look, look at that. Look at that. Now, if I take this out very carefully, wow, look at that. I've now got a perfect jigsaw puzzle made up of all of my pieces. So I can put it together if I wanted to in a project like that, or I can take them separate and I can give it to someone to make up the puzzle. How much fun is that? There we go. So there's also um, double-sided dies that you can put through your um, your Gemini, all your, all your electronic um, 
Gemini machines so that you can be cutting out multiple elements all at once. Um, you can be cutting all your fabrics. You can be cutting everything out that you want to. But this is just a very, very quick overview of what you can do with your Gemini machine. I have some samples here, some lovely samples showing you those dies. I wanted to just show you these um, double-sided dies and what you can do with them. Look at this. Now this means we can cut these out twice as fast because we've got our double-sided dies and you can be making fantastic projects like this. Look at the different the different materials we've been using from Miri card to our black card to you know our regular um, card it, you know absolutely perfect and then I've got lots here with my jigsaw dies just to show you our multimedia dies absolutely fantastic I love these oh look at oh I like that I was about to say a piece had fallen out but it's here how brilliant is don't these look fun so much more fun than just a regular detail with all that extra detail on there look at this we've got the jigsaw on here and a repeat of it in a little packet there i absolutely love these and think that they are so much fun and all achievable because i've got my gemini machine there you go how about that now I'd love to know what your favorite thing is to craft with your Gemini machine so if we've got some more people on here oh we've got a few more we've got a few more so um, oh where have we got we've got um, Anne from Twin Cities she says I have the original and the junior my first machine is a manual from another company it doesn't cut some of my dies the Gemini's cut everything well I hope yet yeah, you will um, agree with that that um, there is nothing that your Gemini won't cut we have you know it we pride ourselves on the power of the Gemini and what else have we got we've got um, do, 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 do. there we go Regina says those puzzle cards are beautiful oh and thank you Panda saying we're doing a fantastic job right now we're nearly gone through the first run of all our machines but we couldn't leave it there without touching on our pro so I believe the pro is the latest of our machines it is vast it is an amazing machine now there's nothing the pro can do that your Gemini can't so you might say to yourself why do I need the pro the simple reason is the size of the plates the plates for the pro come in 12 by 12 and 12 by 18 so you, when you get your machine you'll get 12 by 12 plates with it but you can also upgrade to 12 by 18 this means you've got a large area a large workspace area that you can be crafting with plenty of room so you can be putting through multiple things so if you're doing a card base and you've got your worker die on the mat you can also then put all of your embellishments on so you can be putting those through so much faster so if you're batch making Christmas case in point wedding invitations party invitations things like that things when you're going to be putting multi making multiples of the same or you just need to do it the pro is the machine you want to go to you're still getting the same power you're still getting the same functionality and the same plate combination so if you are familiar with your original then it's a really easy transition up to the pro because the plates are going to work in exactly the same way they're just larger so no longer are you getting those dies that are a4 and thinking well i can only just squeeze them onto my plates you're now got them onto your plates with even more space to add in extras now they don't have to be dies of the same from the same collection or even of the same style you can be mixing and matching your dies on one plate and that's what i love the pressure is so good it reacts to whatever is there as the rollers um, go through them so you're still getting the same cables you're still getting the same plate you're still getting the same mechanism to work it so you're getting your start you pause your play and your reverse and of course you're still able to cut exactly the same materials in your pro as you could with your original your midi and your mini 
there you go so let's have a look oh i've got some more um more comments coming through i have michelle nitz is saying i have those puzzle dies brilliant you will love those i have alison lee says i bought it when it came out and find it the best electronic machine on the market so glad i have the junior and pro also got mini recently well you won't regret that because the mini is absolutely brilliant and it's just one that you have um, to go to oh kate in california says awake unexpectedly at 3 a.m so what else to do but join corinne for a gemini 101 well thank you i'm so glad you've joined us because really really pleased to have you here so let's have a look at the gemini pro Wow, this is our biggest machine, isn't it amazing? Absolutely gorgeous. I'm not going to lie to you, it's not a machine that you're going to be picking up and moving around. So find a space for it and have it there on your work desk because I can promise you, you're not going to need to replace it. You're, you might want your mini to sort of accompany it, but you're not going to need another electronic die cutting machine. When you get your Pro, you're going to get these vast plates. Look at this, 12 by 12. Now, that's probably the largest, quite easy to come by cardstock size that you're going to get. Yes, you can get A3, but a lot, a lot more card comes in um, 12 by 12 than it does in any of the bigger ones. So this means that you've got a large area to be crafting with your cardstock. So when you get it, you're going to still get, you get them in the right order, you're going to get your, your two um, cutting plates. You're still going to get your plastic shim, as you would expect. You're going to get your magnetic shim. You're still going to get your rubber mat and you're going to get your metal shim as well. So you can see straight away, we're still doing exactly what we wanted to do before. So let's have a go at putting a few things through here and I'll show you that the plate combination doesn't change at all. So I have got here a cut and emboss um, die. Now these are brilliant. Right, let's see what we can do with this, the Gemini Pro. I have got my cardstock here for a cut and emboss die. So I can pop this onto here. So I've put my cardstock onto my card first. I love these because these dies, you can use one, you can use all of the bits. You can choose which, which elements that you want to use. It's a brilliant die and I'll show you some fantastic samples with it. So I'm gonna pop this onto here and I'm gonna take those to there. I'm gonna take that very, um, gently and then I'm just going to tape that onto my cardstock because I don't want it to move but I'm going to quite carefully pick where I tape it down so just tape that onto here now this is just a regular die so straight onto there now I am going to put the plates on in a slightly different order and there is logic for it I'm going to put my um, plastic shim on then I'm going to put my metal shim on and then I'm going to put my second cutting plate now remember every cutting plate has two sides to this whether you're doing the pro or the or the original or you're using your junior plates in your original machine you've got two sides to every cutting plate so make sure you turn them and you rotate them and you get the maximum wear out of each one so oh that's popped out I was hoping it wouldn't do that so there we go look at this look at the detail once we've got that out of there let me just clear that down and get all those bits off there you go now let me just show you this this is perfectly natural this is what you would expect can you see can you see the markings on there it's not going to compromise your projects at all but just as i said remember you've got two sides to your die if you need to turn it around right i'm actually going to put my die back on here i was hoping it wouldn't come out but it did but it's not a problem. Have I got this the right way round? Then let's do it that way round. Let's put that back on. Why is it not going? There we are. It's going back on just there. Let's see if we can get it back in. There we go. Whoop. There. There we are. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get my rubber embossing mat and I'm going to pop that one down. I'm going to pop my cardstock onto there. Oh, I felt that click right back in so i'm going to just press that tape on so it holds i'm going to put my plastic shim back on now as we said earlier we don't use our rubbish um 
rubber embossing mat with our magnetic shim so I'm going to take that one out and then I'm going to pop my cutting plate back on as well and then we can run that through so what we're going to do now is we're going to emboss all of that detail in there so it'll be absolutely perfect through there we're going to get lots and lots of detail let's see how this goes there we go oh I think my dye's moved I think my oh yes my dye's moved ever so slightly so let me show you what it looks like oh you can see it yeah my dye just moved so what you can see is when you emboss it's also going to add all that extra emboss detail in there and then you can see we've got all of the detail how you can use them separately or together absolutely perfect right I think we should do another one because my dye moved on that let's have a look what else we can do I want to show you my embossing folder there we go right now I have got a lovely regular embossing folder I've shown I've um, done lots of different um, ways to to um, to cut and to emboss so let's show you just a regular embossing folder now what you've got is you've got the sentiment on the back and that is the back side of your um, embossing folder so if you've got a one-sided um, die a uh, cardstock you just need to remember to put the cardstock face up now this is a regular embossing folder so I know I just use my cutting plate and my second cutting plate I don't need any of my shims I can just put that through there just like that so this is just going to go through here and then we will cut a few bits of fabric and I can show you how brilliant this is there we go so now you can see look at that isn't that look at the emboss look at that and if you want to you can then add your gilding waxes to really make it pop absolutely perfect one last quick one to show you I'm going to show you how we can go through with some fabric now I have got some just some regular cotton I don't need all of that let's do this so we can pop cotton through on there and then oh it's got a little bit of a crease so let's go that way put my die on top I'm going to then put on my magnetic shim I'm going to put on my cutting plates and my um, plastic shim and run that through so I had four layers of my fabric there but I'm sure I could go through even more now when it gets to the point that it's getting to the die you'll hear the machine slow down that's absolutely perfect it's what you would expect it to do because it's doing all of that work now look at this look at all of those layers I love this because how many layers have I got here there so easy so if you are a fabric crafter you can craft through this look at this no frayed edges at all absolutely brilliant and then that's what you can do with your Gemini Pro so much more because you've got that large cutting plate wow i think we've really really sort of whizzed through those so i think we'll just take a minute to have a look at a couple of samples that i've got all set up here just to show you some of the things that you could be doing with those um bits that i've been making how about like that look at that gorgeous gorgeous peacock using that create a card die isn't that perfect or we've got our embossing folder I do love an embossing folder you get so much texture and detail oh that one's going that way there we go and got it twisted around so much texture so much dimension absolutely gorgeous it really adds another layer to your project I think that's the same one there we go so you know doesn't matter whether which machine you've got but the Gemini Pro is going to allow you to do so much more, so much quicker. So perfect machine if you are it's really getting into your crafting. Right, who else is with us today? Right, so, oh, there's a question here that I think is, I did something without actually saying, so that brilliantly, thank you. So, um, Pamela says, thanks, Corin. You have cleared up for me the sequence, sequence of using your plates. Well, that's really good. I'm glad, Pamela. 
S. Ludwig says, I have four of the five machines, Gemini Pro, Gemini Pro, OG, Junior, MIDI, not disappointed with any of them. Fabulous. Betty says, Corinne, I'm learning a lot today. Thank you. I'll be more confident with my OG. Please get more confident. If you get your plates wrong, it'll just reverse your plates back out. Or if you've not got enough of your plates there, it'll go through and it won't cut. So you just have to put the right plate in and away you go. Oh, Pandacraft says, if you have time, Corinne, could you cut a double-sided die? I've had mine for over a year and still haven't got used, haven't used them. I may give them a go today. If I get time to go back over, I have, I'll just have to open the plates and then I can do them. Now, Tess says, why did you put the plastic shim down before the magnetic shim? What I was hoping for was that um, the die wouldn't stick to the magnetic shim so that I could lift it ready to emboss. Because I wanted to remove the magnetic shim to put my embossing mat in, I didn't want my magnetic shim next to my die because it would have held onto it too tight. So it was just to make it a little bit easier, even though it did jump out of its plate. But that was all I did it for, was just to make the next stage even easier. Alison Lee says, my birthday favour today was the birthday cake die from this set. Looking forward to using it. Brilliant. Corinne, you are so good explaining everything about these machines' plate combinations. Well, thank you, Alison. That's very kind of you. We have to remember new crafters are joining all the time and shows like this are superb for them. Well, hopefully, I'm so glad you appreciate it because so many people aren't always getting the most out of the machines and it's just sort of fear of the unknown. But please, there is no mystique. The more you use them, the more you'll get to know them and that'll be perfect. Janko says, I really appreciate the review of plate combos. I still struggle with some of the combos. Get your questions in. Which ones are you struggling with, Jan? And I'll try and answer. I've got about 10 minutes left. Cheryl says, great job. And Just Crafty Chantel says, I use the Pro every day. It's the best. The power is brilliant, but it's that extra cutting space that I love. So, shall we see if we can go and help Pandacrafts with a double-sided die? Because I think we should. So, you just have a look at those. You have a look at that pile of machines. Which one is it that you are still hoping for? Because, you know, we can... Uh, see which one you want which one would be on your list right now i need to just do a little bit of adjusting so that i can um answer that question so let me grab my original gemini oh here it is there we go now the great thing is i can take the power cable out of my pro Ooh. And just move that there and i can pop it into my original and turn on the power press the start and i'm ready to go now i'm going to do this with my junior plates which have been moved out of the way very safely let's see if i can find them oh here we go i found them i found them there we go this is how we're trying to work, trying to get everything together. And I've got a nice clean set of Gemini Junior one. Let's see if I can find two double-sided plates. Right. Oh, yes, found two. So this is what you get when you get your double-sided plates. You get... You, oh, move that out of the way. You're going to get these. Can you see they've got a little bit... I'm going to put some carbon on. Can you see the green hue to them? There you go. So you, then you know they're double-sided. So I need to pick up my double-sided die. Really easy to use are these, but they're so, so clever. Now, you're going to have to bear with me with colours because we're doing this on the hoof. So I have got some pink and some blue card. Now, when you're doing double-sided dies, you need your, plastic, your cutting plate. You need your two, man, um, two cutting... Um, double-sided plates and you need your second cutting um, clear cutting plate so these are the four plates you need you don't need any of the other shims so I'm going to take my double-sided dies we'll do it like this we'll put this onto here we're going to put my blue card down first and I'm going to put one die so you can see the dies they've got cutting blades on both sides unlike any other die that you've got and I've got this one and I'm going to put it on here now ooh, Think it through, Corinne. Put my cutting plate on and then I'll do that. So I have got, just to reiterate, I've got my clear cutting plate. I've got my double-sided plate. I've got my cardstock with my two dies. Put that on there. I'm then going to put my second um, plate on 
and I'm going to put my cutting plate on. Now you'll see I didn't put any tape down. Let's actually start that again. I've missed a piece of card out. This is thinking on the hoof. Right, let's start again. I have got my cutting plate. I've got my double-sided plate. I've got my cardstock, my dies, and my second piece of cardstock. I'm thinking of a thousand things at once. I've got my next cutting plate, and I've got my, plastic, uh, my cutting plate at the top. I was tr trying to think of the next question. I'm offering that up to my machine, and away we go. Now, what I was about to say, which is why I forgot to put my second piece of cardstock on, was that um, don't take them down because you would end up cutting through your tape because um, you cut both sides of the dies. And there we go. Right, so on the pink side of my cardstock, I have now cut two pieces because I had two dies in there. Can you see? Just like that. Poking all those bits. Look at that. Every bit pokes out. And then on my blue cardstock underneath, I have cut out the other pieces. So we can see just like that and like that. So in one pass of my die, build it up, I've got one, two, three, four layers of my die. And that is absolutely perfect. So your double-sided dies are really, really easy to use. It's cutting plate, um, green cutting plate, cardstock, die, cardstock, second cutting plate, clear cutting plate. Well, mine are in a complete mess. So hopefully that's cleared it up for you to... Oh, I've forgotten who that was now. I'm so sorry. Um, whoever that was, um, absolutely. I hope that's cleared it up. But if you have any other plate combination questions, then please ask. Before I go, I want to give you one last top tip. Now, everybody says, how do I remember what plate combinations I need to use? In my crafty bag, which I just went into, I made myself a little cheat sheet. There we go. So I write myself a little cheat sheet, 3D embossing folders, regular embossing folders, cutting emboss folders, deep dish, just remove the magnetic shim, deep dish um, fabric dies, remove magnetic shim and add in metal shim, and you can stencil, you need your embossing folder. All of that I extracted from, just from the user manual. But instead of getting the, man, man, um, the, the user manual out every day, I have that. It's in my craft bag. Because there are times when I might not have used a 3D embossing folder for two or three, four weeks even. And I'm thinking to myself, what is it? I have that in my craft bag. It's here when I'm here. It's here when I'm at home. So it's entirely up to you. There we go. So, so many comments. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. I'm going now to have a quick cup of tea because I think I have said plenty of words already for today. But I hope that has been useful for you. I hope, as somebody called it, your Gemini 101. Which machine is it that you have? Are you using it like you should? Please use them. They are absolutely brilliant and they are being made to be used. They've been made to be pushed and to be put through their paces. You won't regret it. Whether you're having your manual ones or your electronic ones, or you've got a combination, you've got a manual and an electronic, because that's the combination I work with all the time. They are absolutely brilliant. Now, um, our product design, obviously you know Leanne, has future-proofed all the machines. So whenever we bring out a new concept of die or embossing folder, you know your machines are going to work with them. So you're not going to have, your machine's not going to become defunct and unusable. Hopefully that's really, really been useful. And we're going to be back in a couple of hours with our um, Creative Craving show. Now, they gave me a challenge. They said to me, this show is all about your desert island craft wish list. So I am going to show you my 10 items that I would take with me to my desert island if I was going. Not including my paper, my glue and all of those basics. So I've got lots of things to show you. How I will be using them and why I will include them on my wish list. But then at 6pm... The lovely Craig, he's winged his way back up from um, our Hobby Maker shows and he's coming in to join me at 6pm to do our Second Chance Sunday. Wow, the table out there is full of products. So many amazing deals at 6pm. So if you've missed any shows all week, I can promise you if it's still in stock, it'll be on the show tonight. 
goodie bags, really good discounts, some new launches. It's all there. So please join myself and Craig at 6 p.m. tonight. So it's been fabulous to have your company. And so thank you so much for all of your comments. Um, Katie says you're going to use her double-sided dies. And Pamela says thank you for a brilliant session. It's been lovely to have you with me. And I'll be back in a couple of hours with my Desert Island crafty wish list. And uh, I hope you'll join me then too. So until then, I'll see you later. Bye. <laughs>